Hello everyone! I'm super excited because today I'm going to do a fun 12 by 24 canvas inspired by the Pantone colors of the year. Um, so I pulled it up here but I will link it as well, um, the Pantone website. And their two colors are Ultimate Gray and Illuminating, which is a yellow. So one of the quotes from their website to explain these two color choices is the union of an enduring ultimate gray with the vibrant yellow illuminating expresses a message of positivity supported by fortitude. Practical and rock solid, but at the same time warming and optimistic, this is the color combination that gives us resilience and hope. We need to feel encouraged and uplifted. This is essential to the human spirit. I just thought that was so wonderful to hear, especially after everything in 2020, and I'm excited to do a pour inspired by those colors. Now, uh, you can access paint swatches and that kind of thing from the Pantone website, but um, I just did my best to color match what I could see on my phone screen. And then I have this yellow, which I made. And I was actually almost out of, well, now I'm out, but I was almost out and this is what it is. But I also wanted to share a trick that if you just cut the lid off, you can get everything else that's in there that won't come out of the nozzle. So, fun tip. So then when it comes to the rest of my colors, as promised, I'm going to be using the rest of my runoff from this container and as I mentioned in my previous video, which I will link, this usually turns out gray. So we will see how that looks once it's on. So my plan is to do a split on the canvas, a color split. I'm going to do gray and yellow with white in between and then a Dutch pour. So my um, layering colors are this Blick bright aqua green then I have a folk art 14 karat gold and then I have Liquitex basic dioxazine purple and then this one's new and I haven't used it before which is why it's in my reusable cup I'm gonna see how it works this Martha Stewart Let's see, it's a satin finish and fire opal. It's a really pretty color, actually. And then my final color is Grumbacher Cobalt Blue. Okay, I'm so excited. Let's get the base coat down. Okay, so I went to shake my gray, and obviously my lid wasn't on all the way, so... Um, I said gray here and yellow here, but I think I'm going to switch it and then hopefully the white and the Dutch pour cover up that. Okay, now we can actually go. Oh, for my white, it's my usual. Um, I just have uh, Liquitex Basic in white and then one part pouring medium, one part paint, one part flow troll. It took a minute but I really wanted this diagonal shape instead of just like a third a third a third so on to our paints I think first I'll use my Blick let me just get one of my bamboo bamboo skewers bamboo skewer say that ten times fast just wanted to give it a good mix before we go
because I know metallics sometimes don't cooperate. So I want the metallic from the bottom of the paint to also be on top. interesting and vibrant. I'll just give it a quick torch. Wow. This is so different. Just have a couple little spots that I need to fix. And then I'll just do my corners later. Oh my gosh, you guys have to see this up close. Okay, this is gorgeous and super interesting. This is not a color palette that I would normally choose, but I love that I was inspired by it. I also think it's a really cool contrast, composition-wise, that the gray has kind of... I don't know what you call that. Like, taken over some of the colors. But there are some really cool lacing and cells happening. And then the yellow just highlights how vibrant they all are. You can see right down here the shimmer and the sheen from the metallics. So pretty. There we are everyone. I hope you enjoyed this painting and I will post a picture of the dried result on my Instagram.